If you're looking for cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, then definitely go ahead, click the link in the description to vbarrack.com. Like I said, they're very cheap and reliable, and um, definitely worth it. So go ahead and check them out for yourself. Enjoy the video. Well, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Leicester career mode. I was just about to say Chelsea again, but Leicester career mode. In this episode, we're going to be trying to put in some offers for some players. So, Todd Kane from Chelsea. I've gone ahead and put a bunch of players on the shortlist. Um, seriously, there are a lot here. Just went through a few of the teams um, and put in some, uh, basically, some, uh, like, I want to put in some offers this episode. But um, you will see how it goes. But anyway, Todd Kane, um, he's another player. I'm going to actually inquire about him because I'm not actually quite sure what rating he is. Most of these I've scouted just to see. Um, Eric Deer there, I have uh, I think I've put an inquiry for him, but I don't think they're going to sell him. Winston Reid, I've already put an offer. Same with Nathan Aki. Matip is another player that I'd love to get. So most of these players I'm just going to inquire about. The ones that I kind of want now um, are the ones that I'm going to inquire about. So Bart Truer as well from Barcelona is another player that I want. Um, Juan Jesus um, or Jesus um, I'm going to try and pick him up now I don't think they're going to sell him um, I'm hoping they are as well as uh, um because this guy was actually really cheap last year um, so I'm hoping we can now Joel Campbell right this guy I think he's going to be insane now I don't know whether he's just moved um, I'm hoping he's not um, but I'm going to put an offer for him because I think he's going to be. I think he's actually going to be a really good uh, player. He's got the pace um, and he's also like quite good uh, at dribbling and stuff. So I think he's going to be actually be a really good player. So I kind of want to bring him in. 1.8 mil is what I've put in for him. That might be too much. We'll see how it goes. Now Mohamed Salah. I'm going to inquire about him. I don't think they're going to let him go, um, but I hope they do. Thomas Ince. Now this guy. Um, on the old crim, I used to be able to put in an offer for him, uh, loan-wise. So I'm going to try and put in an offer um, for a full season loan um, of Thomas Ince and see what they say for that as well. Now, we've also got Suso. I'm going to put in the exact same thing for him as well. I think he'd be a quality player to bring in. Um, he's on £40,000 a week. I know he's on quite a hefty contract, but we're going to stick with it anyway and see whether they say yes or no to it. Uh, Leon Goretzka from, uh, from Schalke. We're going to try and put an offer for him. I'm going to go ahead and put a £1 million offer for him. Um, I don't think they're going to accept that. They're probably going to want more. He's got insane potential. He's a quality player. And um, he's someone who I definitely want to bring in. Now, Emery Can is another player that I want to bring in. Um, actually, why did I just inquire about him? Because they're not going to say anything. Sergio Roberto, I'm going to put another offer for him as well from Barcelona. Jesse Rodriguez, I don't think is really going to work. Um, G. Ji Dong Won. I'm going to put in a loan offer for him because I'm, I've heard that he's actually a really good player. Um, I think he'd be really good for Leicester. So if I could bring him in, that'd be fantastic. All right. Uh, Maximilian Meyer. I don't think they're going to, they're probably going to want quite a bit for him. So I'm going to put in an offer for for 2, 2.5 mil. Um, so if they accept that, he's got some insane potential as well. He's already a pretty good player. So he'd probably jump straight into the first team if we do get him. Um, Rafina as well. Um, Niang. Now, this guy is another player that I want because he's actually really good. So I'm going to put in an offer of 1.2. 1.25. They might. I'm going to put in the low offers at first because they might actually want more. And if they do want more, then I'll know. But if that is good and they will accept it, then it'll be fantastic. Uh, Yashil. Now, this guy, I don't think they're going to probably want much for him. Um, so I'm going to put in an offer. I'm going to put in an offer of a, a loan offer as well as £700,000 on the future fee um, because he's actually quite a cheap player unless they want more um, for him as of this FIFA because in the last FIFA, he wasn't actually that expensive. Now, Andy Carroll is another player that I really want. He looks insane. 8.3 is a lot of money there. I'm going to put in an offer for uh, 4 mil um, as well as someone else. Who can we chuck in? Danny Drinkwater is a good player. I don't want to get rid of him. Um, David Nugent is... See, David Nugent is 29. You guys are probably going to hate me for this, but David Nugent is 29. He is 71 overall. I know that. Um, but I'm going to try and put in an offer of 5 mil plus a David Nugent. Maybe they'll accept that. Maybe they won't. We'll see how it goes. Um, but Andy Carroll is definitely a player that I want to bring in. He's a quality player. Um, Icardi, Marata. Um, it's an Icardi we're going to wait on. Marata, I kind of want to bring in on loan if we can bring him in. Um, if we can, then we're going to stick to it. But he's on too much a week. I'm not even going to bother. So we're just going to remove him from a shortlist. And uh, we're going to see what these these teams say. Um, because I obviously want to bring in some of these. So we're going to have inquiries. Matip, £7 million. Bartra, 42 
17 for Juan Jesus. Um, he's recently joined us at Chelsea, so we're not going to let him go. Okay, they're putting an offer for... He's on £60,000 a week. I didn't even realise he was on that much. 2.5 mil for Sergio Roberto. This guy's apparently really good. So we're going to put in a 1.5 mil uh, bid as well as Matty James. Because if we can get rid of a centre mid and bring in another centre mid who's better, then it'll be even better. Um, Bartra. See, Bartra's a good player. So maybe we could put in a good offer for him. We're going to put in a 2. 2.25 um, offer for him. And if that goes, that'll be quality because he's a really good player. He's on £60,000 a week. Um, but I kind of want to bring him in. So I'm going to put in an offer of 3.5 mil for Matip as well. Um, and we'll see who else we have. I'm thinking maybe maybe Waz 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 him. We're going to bring him in. Waz Lewinsky. Well, that guy, right? The centre back, thirty-four <laughs> year old centre back. So we're going to skip forward another day. Eric Dia, he's just joined. I had a feeling that was going to happen. One hundred eighty thousand pounds. Ronaki at six mil. Um, Emery Cash just joined as well. So we're going to put in an offer for em uh, Ronaki because he's actually quite good. Um, or Ronaki, um, however you pronounce it. So two point two point. I'm actually just going to put in a straight uh, three million pound offer for him. He's on eighty thousand pounds a week though. That is the only downside. Todd Kane. I'm going to see if I can get a bargain for him because he's got some serious potential. So I might actually just try and see if I can just swap him for someone, someone that I don't particularly want. So I'm going to have a look. Who can we swap him for? Um, hmm. Let's see. Um, thirty-three year old left back. Uh, no, he's Koncheski. I don't particularly want to get rid of Koncheski like that. Um, maybe Michael Kane. Michael Kane and fifth, uh, no, not five hundred. That's a lot of money. Uh, Michael Kane and fifty thousand pounds. Michael Kane and fifty thousand pounds. I think that could be a good deal. Um, Todd Kane is a probably he's definitely going to be a player for the future. Um, that is for certain. So anyway, loan off. What the hell has just happened? What the hell just freaking happened there? My my like my screen just like refresh for some reason but anyway your shield um you're reviewing the offer for your shield on loan seven hundred thousand pounds at the end of the loan maximilian meyer you believe he's worth more than that Borussia dortmund yep you've accepted that loan offer for suso that is good um we could bring him in on loan joel campbell 1.8 million that is definitely for me that is a good deal i definitely want to bring this guy in um he's gonna be let's just leave it a squad roll if he doesn't if he asks for a squad roll we'll give him but if he just doesn't then we just we'll just go with that winston reed um because we're not interested in the player um okay they don't want to hammond let's see who else we can bring in um matty james maybe maybe matty james um we'll bring him in Hopefully, because we definitely need a new centre-back. Thomas Ince, uh, they're not looking to loan him out. Okay, Suso on loan. See, I'm going to wait for I'm gonna wait for um, Campbell, because I don't think they're going to accept it. So we're going to stall that for the minute. And if the Campbell deal falls through, then we'll we'll, uh, we'll go back and uh, try and do that. Now, we're going to wait on the Dijon Wong as well. Um, because, like I said, if we get Joel Campbell, then we can um, we can decide which one to go for. Maximilian Meyer, he's going to be worth a lot of money. Niang, you think he's worth more as well. Um, Niang, we're going to go for, again, 1.25. Let's try and get rid of someone who's on the right. Um, and I don't particularly want... Or, like, wingers that I don't particularly want. So, let's so just try and get rid of maybe, maybe a striker. Maybe Vardy. Vardy um, and 1.25 mil for, for Niang. Maybe that'll be a good deal because we have so many strikers on his team. It's ridiculous. We're going to keep them there. I'm um, going to sim forward for a couple more days and see what happens. Hopefully some good deals. Nine plus Adam Johnson scout report. That's fine. I just wanted to kind of see. Sergio Roberto, 1.5 mil plus Matty James has been accepted. Loan to buy offer. Decided to reject it for Nathan Aki. That's perfectly fine. Winston Reid, they've accepted. Um, West Ham for Winston Reid. Loan offer accepted. That's them too. Leon Goretzka, they think he's worth more. Andy Carroll, they're not interested in a player. They're not interested in Nugent, um, which kind of sucks. Maybe if I offer, maybe if I offer 5.8 and Nugent, maybe they'll accept that. Maybe not, but he's worth one point, like over one mil. So I'm hoping they do. Uh, Sergio Roberto, he's on quite a bit of money, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, offer him a five-year deal. And um, we're going to go ahead and see whether he accepts that or not. Because he's a very good player. He's only 22 as well. And he'd be a good player to bring in. So, Leon Goretzka, I'm going to uh, leave for the minute. Jean Matip, I believe he's worth more than that. How about 4.5 mil? Plus Wazilowski. Wazilowski. Is that it? Oh, I don't know. Mark Bartra, that is a lot, man. I don't want to pay £9 million for him. That is a lot of damn money. Let's go ahead and sim forward. Hopefully, we can get a couple of good players in. Transfer offer, uh, 4.9 mil. for uh, He's quite good. Um, he's quite a good player, so that could be quite a good deal. Um, who else can I swap for him, though? 
Liam Moore's a good player. He's one for the future, I think. Um, hmm, maybe maybe Koncheski. I kind of don't want to do it because he's a legend, but I'm thinking maybe Koncheski and 500,000 extra. So 3.5 mil plus Koncheski. That's actually lower than what they want. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do that anyway. So hopefully Joel Campbell is going to accept his contract because I'll jump to the opportunity of bringing him in because he's a quality player. Stex, that's this guy. We're going to go ahead and put him on loan. 58 rated striker. We're going to go ahead and let him go. Um, that is good. Chelsea, it's okay. They don't want him. Alone to buy. I decided that we will allow Yashil on loan. Um, okay, he's on five thousand pounds a week. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. Um, he's quite a low-rate striker, but he's got he's got basically the pace. Um, Dijon Wong. I'm gonna keep these two players there as well. All right, um, because you need to understand the role, that's perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead. You're going to be an important first-team player because we have Knockout and also um, what's his face? You know the one on the left. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and see what happens there. Niang, 8.9 million. That's just not going to happen. Todd Kane, we're going to leave it there. Um, and Suso, I really want to bring in Suso, but I kind of want to leave the wages because he's on a 40,000 pound a week contract. So if we can give um, him. The wage is £90,000. We're just going to let him go. But if we can give Joel Campbell um, the, the contract, I'd rather bring him on on a permanent loan than... or oh, not a permanent loan, but a permanent uh, deal rather than that because you need to understand the role. So you're going to be an important first-team player as well because he's probably going to play quite a bit. Um, so that's something. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Also in talks with Napoli, Jean Matip, that we just haven't got the money from then. 5.5 million. We cannot not match up to that amount. We have the money, but I just don't want to spend that much on one player, you know. Serge Gnabry from Arsenal. Let's have a look at some of these players, actually. 70 overall. 70 overall right mid. Such so quite good. Jesse Lingard. Um, nothing happened there. Joel Campbell. Uh, he's worth 2.5 mil. Um, Suso. So, so is he. He's got some quality stats. Um, Thomas Ince. Vidra um, is, a, is a potential... Oh... He's on loan, though. I can't pick him up. Sonogo. So let's have a look at Sonogo. He's got okay stats. He's a 69-rated striker. I'm going to see whether we can get him maybe on a permanent deal. Not a loan. I didn't mean to click loan. Maybe we can get him on a permanent deal to the point of where we just kind of like a swapper player. Um, he's recently signed a new contract. So I'm thinking maybe Nugent. I know you guys are probably going to hate me for this. Actually, Jamie Vardy, maybe. Jamie Vardy and possibly possibly £500,000 on Jamie Vardy. We'll see how that works. Hopefully... Hopefully it's good. We're going to go ahead and see how that works out. Um, Sonogo is a player that I definitely would like to bring in. Um, he's not a crucial player for me, but if we could bring him in, that would be a good deal. Um, oh, half of these players I don't even know. Half of these players I don't even know. My screen's just like refreshed again. I really need to sort that out. Luke Chambers, um, and it's done it again. Luke Chambers, hmm, inquire. Maybe we can inquire about him. He seems quite good. He's 28 years old, but we're going to keep him on there anyway. These are the players that I've added. So Serge Gnabry and Snowgo, um, international management. Jack Barnby. I'm um, going to go ahead and send him out on loan as well, bringing that extra like £2,000 on the wages and uh, gets rid of him because we're not really going to use him. Andy Carroll, because you're not interested in the player. Okay, Andy Carroll, we're just not going to go for you because that is just way, way it's going to end up costing way too much money. So that's something. Let's go ahead and um, continue. Sim forward a little bit. And uh, see what happens. Todd Kane. There you go. That's okay. Anyway, guys. So I'm probably going to go ahead and actually end this episode of here. Because my, my screen keeps flickering. And I don't know whether it's actually going to go on the video or not. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. As always, hit the like button. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook. All of that good stuff. And I will see you in the next episode.